Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign. Campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with um, a little bit less selection in characters, equipment, less hit points and more enemies. And specifically the primes seem to become a problem in the late game. Still haven't found a really good way to deal with the action economy slander that they are doing. Mostly I'm ignoring them for now. Just take a shot or two whilst cleaning up the rest of the field and then starting to deal with them. Uh, the one effective strategy that I found is to freeze them, but that only is going to work with the frost bomb or the snake suit. I don't have other means to do that at this point. Not sure if um, if a flashbang will prevent them uh, from actually yeah, going in. Anyways, we are going to go into this mission and I hope uh, that this one of the last missions for Primus is going to be um, following because uh, he hopefully will get his latest upgrade. You can see Sparks already have tier 3 armor. And this, these here are the scraps that I put together. As I've mentioned in the last video, the equipment of the Prime team is locked in, so only secondary items are available. Zia Kim goes in with a med kit. I felt having it at uh, the front line might be more beneficial. Also, it offers a couple of immunities against poison. Not the worst idea. We got an incendiary grenade. Uh, the uh, remaining ammunition is put on to lockdown and toxic. I think that uh, that is sensible. Sukuger is uh, running with a uh, beautiful, beautiful bolt uh, caster. It's a shitty weapon, but uh, we got to use it and try to make it work somehow. Got a flashbang, got some hack improvement. Sandman is going to scout for us. And the only thing that is left to be done is getting a proper color scheme here. Give me a second. Hey, I like that color scheme. It looks like a bit of a caramel, um, really solid whitish look. Same for the weapon now. Uh, so this is Primus, the first spark, and hopefully soon uh, the highest rank. Good, so that's our team. Fantastic, let's get in and see how well we're going to go uh, do against the Archon Prime. Like I said, the action economy is the biggest problem and their massive, massive health pool, so probably gotta really hit them hard and eventually take them out with a stun or something like that. Good, we landed. I'm sort of afraid that we might even fight against the Chosen. If so, it would be the Hunter, if I'm not mistaken. Good, we got Sandman here. Look at that, Primus. With the armor upgrade, he's still missing some health, but overall it uh, looks quite good. I will Let's try to get the high ground here. Couple of civilians. Good, we're moving up. Zirkim, we could move up here, so might as well take that that we'll side and scout out what we're going to deal with. If you say so. sure thing. Not sure if we're going to use the ultrasonic lure, but I figured it might not be the worst idea if we're fighting against loss that we bring a lure with us. Okay, no alien ruler, because elsewise uh, they would have triggered already. As you order, Sandman is moving up. The target is marked. There is the prime. Okay, well, at least we know what we're dealing with, right? Nice little snake on top of it. Okay, cool. Primos moves up. I feel light on my feet. 
Zirkin. Moves in. Looks around. And let's continue to move. Zukuger. Should not trigger anything by just moving up here. Does not trigger indeed, which is great. And finally, lockdown. Rolling out. Moving all the way over here. As you wish. Good. So far, so good. You know, if he's just moving away, I'm totally down with that. Surprised about the moderate hit points. It's almost expecting more, to be honest. Twelve rounds. I mean, one thing that we could do, right, really himself, is do a nice little Overwatch trap. If we were to hack. That includes... Yeah, we don't want reinforcements. We don't want reinforcements. Not right now. Good. We're still stealth. So this here will not trigger anything. Also, Zirkim will not be the best Overwatch support. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Lockdown, on the other hand, should be fine. Okay, so since we have 12 turns... Ah, uh, can't exactly reach them. But if he doesn't move away too far... We should be capable of um, of essentially triggering him next. Well, okay. Never mind, I suppose. far away moving up you. take a look what else we're dealing with I found their patrol Can never escape my sight good there is an enti entire patrol down there Roger that. moving into position Good. We know this here is would be triggering. Physical so moving all the way up outweighed. without triggering. Okay, I'll go. Heading out. Again, not triggering. Okay, careful. This unit scanners are active. I'm on it. Scanning. My turn on watch. Good. They are coming in and we're getting the jump. That's what I was sort of hoping would happen. Alright, he's marked. Still and still far, still relatively speaking, far away. You cannot run. They're not triggering, right? We're still fine. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You could always jump down <laughs> and just school school check them. No. No 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 no. I mean, flashbang would definitely be an option. That really do a lot. We could try to chain shot. That's not a bad idea. Overdrive in order to hit this guy and shred him. He will react, likely with a shot. So we're going to preempt that with an aid protocol. Bit of strategizing here. So he's shredded. Don't move too far. Okay, apparently he just shit his pants and did not continue to move. That's fine. Can happen, buddy. Don't worry. We got a hit. I'm hoping for two hits. 12 to 15. Not enough. Chain shot should only trigger one reaction. Come on. Nice, he's burning. Very good. Come on, another hit. Crit would be fantastic. Ooh, very nice. Something's wrong with him. I, I don't ab I absolutely do not mind that. Good, we got two more actions on Primos here, and we want to feed him kills. Die, die, die. Reloading, overwatching. Moving to here, so that we have the full over oversight. And currently, Zirkim is not doing anything. Although the good old moving in and straight up blade storming all three of them is an interesting prospect, shall we say. You will never hide from me. Got some hostiles grouped over here. All right, nine turns. Nine turns. Moving, Moving in. Can't really hit anyone from here. Problem that I'm seeing is it's very difficult to trigger one pack without triggering the other. On a flip side, a nice little incendiary grenade would solve so many of our potential issues here. This should not trigger anyone. Fantastic. It feels good to move around. Too bad, I was hoping I would not trigger them. On the flip side, we've only triggered them and no one else. So that would remove a lot of cover. Not the worst idea. Hmm. 
<laughs> and I'm still in love with the idea of an incendiary grenade. Ah. Wouldn't deal a lot of damage uh, to the purifier, but it would be a fantastic starter overall. Yeah, let's... The other option is a plasma grenade, and that would explode the car on top of it. There are so many ways to use a plasma grenade over an incendiary grenade, but I want to showcase the incendiary grenade, so I'll make it work. Half, de half cover, this here would be an explosion and remove cover. Not sure if they if it really explodes the car. Let's do this one here. That's a safer bet. Good. Removes a lot of cover. And now time for that incendiary grenade. It is shredding, despite the fact that it does not deal any damage to the. Purifier. There we go. So this guy is burning. This guy is burning. This guy is burning. And of course, Purifier is not burning. Can't move all the way up there. Believe it or not, this here is potentially a good shooting angle. Fortunately, we can't really hit anyone here. I mean, one of the things that we could do is we could jump down. But how lame would that be? A sniper who is on the ground. One of the biggest problems in this particular map is really the aiming angles. Nothing is nothing is really good. Hundred percent on the purifier and a lot of damage. I think we're going to take that. Okay, well, that already was a decent attack. Team working over. We still want to kill this guy. The other one is burning, so we have two down. Elite pur Purifier dies with the Comet Protocol. Which leaves one burning, lonely schmuck down there. I would love to uh, go to here. Doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So we're going to move up. And eventually start hammering this guy. Of course, minimum damage and a dodge. Fantastic. I don't want to unconceal Zirkim. It's not worth it to pull that extra pack. That was a nice hit. Gotta give that to him. Luckily, our four armor almost completely negated.
Good. Can we somehow start this? Let that Andromedon move in and we're just going to remove the cover and kill it. Good, of course it takes full cover. I wouldn't have expected anything less. We're going to remove the full cover because I don't want to deal with any of that bullshit. By doing that, we're also shredding it nicely. Time to kill the priest. Fantastic crit. Unfortunately, sustenance as always. Before we're going to go about that, let's wait. School mine would have been an option. Good, the Andromedon is a potential target. Primos moves up, and I just want to shred that Andromedon. Read it like it's hot and it is down. Fantastic. Almost a kill, not quite. Okay, so this guy is too far away for a grenade. Which means we nicely can kill the Andromedon, get death from above and move into cover. Okay, that worked like a charm. Open up. Reload. Making new friends. And are we going to just stun it? I think so. Don't want to pull yet another pack. We could have controlled it, which would have been nice as a tank. But uh, -uh. there is no point in doing that. Round shutdown. Don't have to care about uh, this guy for now. And in order to start shredding this guy and keep our concealment, let's here at least remove his cut, removes most of his cover, and we're good to go. This is potentially going to be a stasis. Wait, he's still burning, right? Yeah, he's still burning. Oh, come on. There's always more of them than you. Good. That's the last pack. Well, that's supposedly the last pack, whether or not it is, who knows. Let's get some extra intel. Very good. Collecting that big fat intel paycheck.
And in terms of dealing with these guys here, how about... We're starting to shred them. Moving over here so that we're far enough away to not be a target for the rockets. This removes cover. And shreds at the same time. Looks like a decent shot, but I want to first of all mark the Mac. Toxic does a good job in doing that. Now this should be a kill. Thanks to that eye. A nice little extra hit that gets this guy into a burning state. 72, uh, 73%. I'm on the move. Moving up. 80%. We're going to go for conceal. And since we get the bonus in conceal stage, we're upping it to 100%. That's the type of little bonus that you need from time to time. Team working. And we could dead eye as well, but not before. Ooh, there is still a priest. I almost forgot about you, buddy. Almost. It was close, but that's not gonna happen. You're going to die. I, I definitely got that one. So it might as well start dishing out damage. We got some loot that I unfortunately needed to leave. Effing hell, that guy r runs across the entire map. Tierke moves up. Let us hopefully kill that Andromedon. Nope, no good. Still hit with the eight uh, with the combat protocol. And if my memory serves me well, that should have been it. But there are of course reinforcements. As soon as this guy here is being knocked down, and of course he decides to flee. Let's just double check that there is no one else. <laughs> we could have definitely maneuvered ourselves into a nice little trap. It's never as simple as you think. Reloading. Overwatch. Reloading. Reloading. Good to go. And getting a bit closer. We've got a chance to take this thing down once 
Oh, really? She just spotted us out. For no apparent reason. Back into the shadows. This should not trigger anything. Just want to make sure that we're really not that close to her. Okay, well, well, well. We could try to hit her. Can't really move back. But we're moving up and we're greeting her with one overwatch here. No shot on that side. This here is a potential stopper for her. This here is hopefully going to grind her down. Yeah, only into the, the heck was no good. And we have to mark her. Come on. That's a good hit. She will come close and eventually even reach us. Good. That plan worked like a charm. Close, close, close. Come on, 100%. That could force her to flee. Oh, when she's burning, that's fantastic. Okay, well, this here will be the biggest piece of damage that we can do with one shot. Maybe it stuns her. <laughs> it does exactly that. Burning, stunned. Oh, I'm smelling that wonderful, wonderful, sweet smell of a Slade Berserker Queen. There was no reason involved in this decision made. The whole thing exists because because we can. That's it. That's the entire explanation. Why did you do it? Because I can. Ouch. That was a nasty little hit. Okay, moving up. Time to flank this guy. That's a good hit. Armor still holding. Let's feed the kills to our mech. Driving. I'm compelled to agree. That alien queen. If only Advent knew my actual body count. Did not know what uh, was happening to her. Nicely stunned her when she was trying to summon that rift. first time around when we met her she was trying to kill the turret over and over again and this time she did not even reach us she came close but 
close is unfortunately not close enough. Come here, you little Status sucker. Target package in custody. Primus jumps up. Everybody else just trying to run. Alright, Primus moves up. I think there will be reinforcements. But we don't have time for that. Or just running to the exit. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Affirmative. Stepping off. Copy that. I am at your service. Good. Overall, I think the whole mission around. went somewhat according to plan. We got an alien ruler and an archon. That was a nasty combination. Even though it's only 12 enemies, but yeah, we certainly took some damage. At points I was forced to essentially like advance with a Skulljake for instance just to get that kill. Which then again led us of course vulnerable for a pack that added eventually uh, took one shot but overall like taking two shots when fighting against rulers and having no ability to shut their action economy down is okay-ish i would say very good as long as there's even one reaper left standing su cougar got a promotion and we're taking ever vigilant he's a major as well fantastic almost there buddy and I can't believe that we have again not suffered any casualties, despite, I must Having say, the enemies are becoming Dr. a bit uh, more difficult now. The Berserker Queen Corpse, once we have researched it, will be our first fully upgraded war suit. Hello, it is my hope that we will uncover the true purpose of her work. Okay. Assassin weapons still five more days to go. And no, we don't need additional resistance. Contacts, I think we're okay. Income is good. Contacts are looking really solid. We got quite a bit of intel. I think we wanted to continue making contact, uh, contact originally. And the Avatar project is really not a big concern at this point. I think we do have two facility leads if push comes to shove. But we're already kind of expanding here and the last few facilities are in those three regions. <laughs> Again, Dragon Rounds. Ah. nothing available we could get another school check but no we want to save our supplies i want to upgrade and once we do have ample extra supplies once kind of the core weapons are upgraded we're going to get the extra toys i have made a number of interesting discoveries commander look at that arashi and the katana vector rifles could get an extra upgrade slot hmm Hmm. Do we want a third one? Potentially, yes. We got that same thing for the bullpup. So might as well get it for the vector rifles. I am tempted to. Now nah, we gotta, we gotta go with a breakthrough. I want the Berserker Queen autopsy soon. The science is eager to begin, Commander. Okay, so. Quick feed. We'll get a bit new uh, equipment. We talked about Rashi uh, a while ago. And the katana. 
Fantastic. Lovely. That's just such a nice All setup the overall. Are in your debt, Commander. You have done what none other thought possible. The death of the elders. Not sure why he only child. has fifteen hit points. Your why is that? Will allow my people to advance hmm. from fight against the oh yeah, because we did not give him plus hit uh, superior conditioning. Yeah, that's uh, that is due to the lower hit points. He already has a vest to compensate for it. But yeah. At least almost 50% dodge. We gotta give him a bit more dodge, as time permits. And the one thing, by thinking about it, the one thing that we also need to do is... Jessica Rabbit and Frodo might need that last bond upgrade. So there is an option for it as well in the Guerrilla Tactics School. So once both of them are recovered... That could be an option. Getting them really that higher bond They're level. Picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Good. If we were to build, that's 350 supplies. But I think it's worth it because we want to get to Indonesia, New India. Also, Voluntary Army. If, if we're making that contact, we got a second chance for for an extra agent. And that's not bad either. Okay, so what could we get? An engineer. And Advent Troopers will carry more explosives. Not, not necessarily too dangerous. Hidden event? Who knows? Enemy unknown tells me this is potentially a gatekeeper. Vigilance, I don't, I do not want to deal with Vigilance, so what, what would we be dealing uh, with here? So we got Andromedon, Heavy Anti-Riot Mech, Elite Lancer, Sec uh, Sector Prime Mindbender, okay. Is the Sector the problem if he has that many turns? Well, if he uses his Mind Spin every single time then potentially elsewise i suppose we can deal with it but yeah vigilance is nasty i would like to prevent that from happening the explosive sucks as well but vigilance i think is worse new orders commander i got a report of some creaking down by the aft lift okay yesterday. i just hope it's not metal fatigue Still haven't upgraded that guy. I mean, 22 missions and we're still uh, we're still not at the highest level. How is that even possible? Well, I guess he will be joining the next few missions until we finally get that highest rank. 103 kills is ridiculous. We're at 13 hit points. That's good enough. And I potentially now can also go for advanced explosives. Is that a thing or do I need some other breakthrough first? Yeah, advanced explosives. So that, that's our next um, upgrade because then I can get the heavier experimental weapons. Yeah, we're going to go for that one next, but I need an Alarium Core for it, which we potentially can loot. And with that, all of our extra uh, grenades would deal more damage. The gas grenades become gas bombs, the incinerary grenade incendiary bombs. Even, even the blue screen grenades, which by the way I... Hmm, am I stupid? With the blue stream protocol, we would also get uh, the grenades. Maybe I am stupid because I wanted to use the EMP bombs. So let's go for advanced explosives and uh, blue screen um, next. Because the EMP grenades, there are a couple of cool niche abilities and tricks that I wanted to show you guys, such as removing the enemy's shields from the shield bearers. I did not know that the EMPs would do that, but the EMPs um, are removing the shields from the shield bearers. And I just wanted to find those kind of niche plays where 
uh, where people would say, ah, cool, wow, I didn't know that. And um, yeah, the, the, the problem that I'm running into at the moment is there is so much equipment. We're still in the kind of mid game and it feels that I could go for that equipment at the same time the primes are ramping up and we're taking quite a bit of damage so if I'm not upgrading the weapons properly and if I'm not upgrading our armor properly that ultimately will be detrimental so that's really the main priority however afterwards I think the next one is uh, the plasma land so that we're really getting all of uh, the weapons upgraded but once that has happened I think there are quite a few things uh, that would make sense uh, for instance battle scanners definitely I mean you've seen them often uh, the advent uh, priest sustenance sphere that could be an interesting item chrysalids for hellfire vests also not bad not fantastic either but quite a few more hit points Archon for strongest melee weapons are fine. So yeah, there. I mean, there are options specifically sustenance sphere and restealth thing. I can see that restealth uh, to be helpful with the um, with either our scout, uh, so our reaper, but he currently does not have an inventory. There is something or with a, uh, with in a ranger every so that they can every essentially restill. Does Stentman have the option? Well, there is still one option for for an equip for an extra equipment slot, and I hope that we will get it. But yeah, that would be helpful because that's another restealth for him, which in return will make it more likely that we can actually participate in combat, right? Squad side is pretty useless. Well, hmm, shouldn't say that. Uh, if if we no longer scout, then squad side on this character actually has a certain use. But since you can't crit enemies from afar, and the vector rifle specifically needs to crit in order to deal a good damage, it's sort of pointless. Yeah, let's hope for that equipment slot here, and essentially work our way from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. It helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm. See you in two days, as always, and bye-bye.